How's it going, family? Um, tonight, uh, it's kind of, it's definitely a sign in a way. You know, I go out my city and, you know, what am I doing? It's, it's very plain. You know, there's no artful uh, interpretation applied. You know, you can view it from any angle with any, uh, uh, you know, with any added thing. And it doesn't change it. You know, it's, it is, it is, it is plain and it's, it's plain in its existence relative to us. You know, we have a truth. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, this, this location, this is the busiest, busiest uh, intersection of my city. And I'm just making it out here right now when I am. And it's not so much centralized anymore because it's kind of a cent, uh, centralized part of the city because there's a mall here. And there's, I guess there's a couple other specific things over here, but uh, so this is going to be tra cross traffic. There might be periods where it's dead, you know, or I might just be out here, uh, you know, without anybody around me. But there's something to take, be taken away from that. Um, you, you are present. There's a presence. You have a presence somewhere, whether it's you, you're surrounded by somebody or not. And it has a certain presence when you have a presence, it, irrespective of an environment where you do what you're doing without any, without, uh, you know, the causality of being surrounded by somebody, not as an answer uh, to being surrounded by somebody. And then when somebody enters that presence, that reality, then they uncover it. So in other words, I'm a sign when I'm doing what I'm doing, irrespective of just closing my eyes, and that's probably what I'm gonna do. There's people around me, so I have confidence. I just need to uh, stop being a coward and just step into the cold. <clears throat> but what is it? You know, last night, I was going to speak on this. You know, last night, uh, there was somebody that said nobody cares. You know, nobody cares about me. You know, that's, that's good. I'm focused on the on the truth. I'm focused on what, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't, I'm not explaining myself right now, but I'm saying... I'm fighting for all goodness. I'm saying uh, we cater to this life, but what about the everlasting? Um, you know, you say nobody cares. A devil steps out and says that. Another devil said, shut up. But uh, the devil says nobody cares. I can, I, I caught uh, the silhouette of his form, but I could see him fully. I see that man he would do uh, not a damn thing with his, his life, you know, with what he has. You know, he's going to serve his little microcosm. And he has, he's taken everything that God's given him and hasn't reciprocated the least amount of love. And how much hate filled is this? That you can be given everything and not turn your creator with the least amount of of gratitude to see even seek his face but you separate yourself from hope and then you seek to do that for others now i have a sensitivity to the reality that i, I am perceived out here it is perceived what i'm out here with i believe that it's an indwelling familiarity that god gave us that we recognize the reality of our savior but You know, here's here's uh, a scenario. You have a reality and you live according. You find your bearing from the, the collective for the entirety of your life. But you have a certain sensitivity in your heart of hearts that you are God created. And you have a little bit in your heart with Jesus Christ and your touch and your conscience with the reality of him, of not turning to him. Family, this, this story, this scenario, this is you if you haven't come. You know, it's very plain logic. I have an argument, you know, that we're here 
uh, we didn't transcend our source and become mind. Okay? So our source is mind. This place is logically incomplete. And I'm not going to delve into that. This place is logically incomplete. And so this, this realm is purposed otherwise. Or thus, thus is purposed. And what's greater in, in re, uh, a reality, a, a, a realm that is structured for created entities, uh, conscious life forms to locomote in what's, what is more to observe or to interact with. And this plain interaction, you know, it's plain, uh, plain argument that God intends relation with us. And this is from ignorance of revelation and knowledge of him. This is just coming from a logical argument, ar argumentative, argumentative, uh, standpoint, you know, then also is reality good fun, you know, uh, is reality first good or evil? What's, what's its, uh, foundation? What's its inherent nature? What's its essence? And it's good. Life is good. Living is good. And first you could say, well, we live to die. Okay. That could be argued if our allotment didn't contain good, didn't contain good qualitative things, love. If it didn't contain, you know, without, without pain, uh, um, you know, beauty and good interaction, you know, and these things are contained in the life that we have. So we don't live to die. So it's not death, you know, existence is not death based. So it's not evil. So since existence is good, reality, actuality is good first, then let me ask you, how is it good if our creator and he has all power, power, and I'm not going to delve into that. That's plain to come by logic too. He has all power. So how could our creator not give us an answer? How would our, our, our creator not give us a truth? How would our creator not give us hope? Since he is good. Just following, you know, the, uh, you know, the projection, the extrapolation of, uh, things, you know, what he's good. I mean, everything it's, it's, it's plain. I mean, you can't miss it by simple, uh, you know, most basic logic. You can't, you can't miss it family. I mean, and that's even coming, removing ourselves from just our, uh, innate, you know, sensitivity to the reality of things, what's written on our hearts by God. I'm a dead dog, but you know, I, I do, I, I move like this because I see what it is. There's two, there's two, uh, ways of doing good. Back from far. No, there's two ways of doing good. There is leading people to the truth, the truth to existence, because our God is existent. He is good. And I've seen that he sustains and there is everlasting life and this life is purposed. So that's the first good. And then all good under all good, then all existing good, all possible good. Every instance of every, every, uh, every kind, every manner is of, of good is contained in him. So any good interaction, you know, what's self-contained, what's good for oneself, uh, you know, that's, unless it's connected to an environment, it's to your environment, it's, uh, it's meaningless. You know, unless, um, it's because in, in essence it's non-existent because 
just like a private your private world it's like what's contained inside of you it's it's the same you know it's an expression of that you know that you have thoughts they don't modify anything unless you act on them there's a guy walking out i think that's my son